So you're still thinking of me just like I know you should. Hey everybody, so for today's video I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me slash like my everyday makeup routine. And this is going to be a long video, so let's just get into it. So after I'm done washing my face and I just took a shower, so we're clean as can be, and now we're going to be doing our makeup. And for moisturizer, I use the Equate Beauty Moisturizing Cream. This stuff is so amazing, especially with people who have really dry skin and it's hard for them to find like a good, decent moisturizer that like makes your skin feel hydrated, especially in the winter time. My face gets so, so dry and you can feel it. It's awful. Just putting that all over my face. And don't forget your neck. Sometimes people always like forget to moisturize their neck, so don't forget that. All right, so after my skin is all moisturized, I'm going to be grabbing the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. I love this stuff, you guys. It makes your face feel so soft. So while that is all setting in, I'm going to be wetting my beauty blender. This is actually the Real Techniques one and I love it so much better. It's literally six bucks I think and a beauty blender is like 20 and I think it works way better than a beauty blender. So I'm going to go wet this and then let all this sink into my face for like five minutes and I'll BRB. So once it all set in my face and I wet, I'm going to keep calling it a beauty blender, but <laughs> once I wet this, now I'm going to be going in with foundation and this has been my everyday foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I've talked about this so much just because I love it so much. So I'm just going to put that on my finger and just apply it all over my face. And sorry for the, if you can hear my brother or whatever, can't really silence him as much as I wish I could. And do not forget your neck. I cannot tell you how many times people have been like, you have like lines from not putting it on my neck and it's embarrassing. Just don't do it. So now I'm just gonna blend this in. And I've always been a person to catch myself like swiping it in. And I know you're supposed to dab your foundation. I have such a hard time comprehending that. So if you catch me like swiping, I'm sorry. <laughs> not perfect. But um, I love this foundation. It's the good enough quality that I need it to cover what I need it to cover. I don't really get that bad of acne. And when I do, the concealer I use covers most of that up. I just love the way this makes my skin look, especially in like pictures. I love it. But yes, I recommend this foundation. I want to repurchase the Marc Jacobs foundation but that's $52 and I don't have $52 right now so this foundation I think is like 30 something it's still a little high priced but it's not $52 and I love it okay so once that is all blended in we're gonna be going in with concealer this is the Rimmel match perfection Concealer in fair slash light. I love the brush on this. You just like squeeze it and it comes out. I love it. It's so handy and this concealer works wonders. So I just put it in like a triangle shape underneath my eyes, even though that does not look like a triangle. Oh wow. I'm an epic fail. It's fine. And then I do this and get my nose. And then taking my beauty blender, I'm just gonna be blending this into my face. Okay, once that is all blended in, I'm going to be taking the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder and my powder brush and just powdering up my face. This powder is super cheap. I love it. I go between using this powder and when I want to bake, I'm kind of too lazy to bake, I use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. I'm kind of lazy today and I don't want to bake, even though sometimes I will 
like just bake really quickly I don't want to do that but most of the times I bake I'm just not feeling it I just bake underneath my eyes but this will do for today so now we're going to be doing brows and I use the NYX Love and Rio trio in the Brazilian and I use this shade for my brows I'm gonna get a little bit closer so you can kind of see how I do it I am not the best at eyebrows, honestly. I probably suck at them, but I try my best to do it as much as I can. And I'm using this shaped brush. It's like an angled brush. It's from, all my brushes are from Fantasy Cosmetics. I have a few other ones, but most of them are from this brand. I must tell you guys if it's a different brand or what. So just dip into this dark shade and I start by just like shaping my eyebrows like from the ends is where I normally start. Like so. And with my blonde hair, I always had to go really light. And now I can go dark since I have dark hair. Which is good because I most of the time just end up going darker than usual. And you just want to like form a shape of your eyebrow that you like. And make sure it doesn't like... Sometimes I like to overdraw them just a little bit. Not too much. That it's like very noticeable. But it's what I do. And then once you get towards like the this way, you want to just start like swiping like that. And we're gonna like fix that part, but I wanna just keep it as natural as I can. But you can literally tell I literally have no eyebrows, so I draw them on. And then I'm gonna go do the same to the side okay so now that both our eyebrows are done we can get into eyeshadow now I don't stick to one eyeshadow look on a daily basis I kind of switch them up every so often but this has been the eyeshadow look that I've been going for most often and it's from the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette I love this palette so much I can't even tell you guys so I'm gonna be taking Summer Yum which is this one and putting it in my crease i love this color it is so so beautiful so i'm gonna be putting that in our crease i'm taking my mac 224 brush and just wiping that in my crease it is such a pretty peach color you guys i love it it's oh wow so i'm just gonna be applying that into my crease So once that's in my crease, I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild crease brush. I don't, it doesn't really have a number, just like that. And just blending that in. This brush is kind of softer and it blends better. So I'm just going to be taking this and just blending that even more into my crease. Because you want to just make sure your crease color is blended. So once that is blended in, I'm going to be taking this brush from... The, um, it came with Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. And I'm going to be grabbing this shade right here and putting this on my lid. This shade is such a pretty pink color and it goes so well with this crease color. It's like when you hear the rain, it's currently like pouring outside. So once I put that on my lid, I'm going to be taking this brush from Fantasy Cosmetics and I'm going to be going in with white peach, which is just like a white color, and putting that on my brow bone. And it just like lightens up the look and it makes it look a lot better. I love it. And now I'm going to be going in with my eyeliner I use the steel out stay all day waterproof eyeliner I'm going to just line my eyes I'm gonna do that and bring it back because I'm pretty sure everyone knows how to line their eyes 
So after I was done blending my eyes, I just put the glue on my hand for my eyelashes. And I'm not going to be putting these on on camera because that'll just take forever. I honestly suck at putting on eyelashes. But the eyelashes I use are the Vegas Nay Blue Pack eyelashes. I swear by these. I love them so much. Sometimes I don't put on eyelashes, but most of the time I do because if I don't, I feel so bald. So I'll be putting those on. But before I do, I'm going to be coating my eyelashes with the falsies mascara i love this mascara so much it's just so great and it's waterproof which is great for me because my eyes water a lot so i'm gonna put a coat of this on and then put my eyelashes on and i'll be back to you guys okay so once i finally put on my lashes that took forever i'm gonna be taking the falsies and just putting this underneath my eyes because you cannot forget about your bottom lashes i feel like Without putting mascara on my bottom lashes, it just something doesn't look right about my makeup look. I don't know. It happens all the time. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with blush. And I'm going to be taking the Tarte blush in Party. I got this in a little birthday thing. You know how Sephora does like your birthday gift and you get like a free item or whatever. This was like my free item and a mini lipstick put this on my cheeks i love this blush i want to get the full size because it's it's amazing it's so beautiful and then are we doing bronzer and i'm gonna be taking the kat von d shade and light contour kit and i use the mix of the first two shades and i'm gonna be taking this brush from elf and it's like coming apart it's cheap but i like the way the brush works for contouring it's amazing and I just dip into that and just contour and you want to make sure that you blend it in that it doesn't look you know like you can see like your line because that's not cute and I've done that before trust trust me and I'm pale so bronzer just like adds you know color to my skin <laughs> so then I'm taking my powder brush again and literally just blending this out because you don't want any harsh lines if that's honestly the worst and it's embarrassing and you don't want that trust me now we're going in my favorite part is highlight and i you already know i use this glow kit i'm obsessed i use kit kat and forever lit these two and just highlight highlight is probably one of the most important and my favorite things to do with my makeup. I love highlight. I don't know what I was doing before highlighter came into my life. Probably nothing. But I love highlight. Wow. So once I'm done with that, I'm going to be taking this brush that I used with my eyes. And I'm going to be going in with Forever Lit. And I'm going to put that in my inner corner. And it just like lightens up my eyes. I love this. This just adds like so much to your eye look. And then I'm also just going to add a little bit over my brow bone. Just again, it adds a little bit. I love it. Alright, so now for lips, sometimes I don't put something on. But for today, I'm going to be using my Kat Von D liquid lipstick in... I don't even know how to say this. I always pronounce the shade wrong. Loilita too. It's probably wrong. I don't know how the hell you say that. I'm sorry. And just applying this on my lips. I switch, wow. I switch up between this one and bow and arrow, which is like this color. I switch up between these two because these are my favorite liquid lipsticks ever. I'm in love with these. So that is it for my makeup look. I would usually set it, but I ran out of setting spray, so I gotta go pick one up ASAP. But this is my whole makeup routine. Take out my headband. But I just love this makeup routine. I think it looks amazing. I love it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and I love you guys. Bye guys.